All right, this week's quick tip is a must know to become a Fusion 360 master. Since my first day on the job, I have used McMaster Car to order and find standardized parts for my designs. I still have an out of date physical McMaster Car catalog sitting on my desk. So let's start by grabbing some socket heads cap screws to attach this ball nut screw to the bracket of this router gantry design. Nowadays, my physical catalog is just a paperweight because McMaster Car has an online repository of components. Luckily, I can access the McMaster catalog from right within Fusion 360 by going to the Insert dropdown. Here, I can browse or search McMaster's endless warehouse of common parts. I will use the filters on the left to narrow down to a button head cap screw that is an inch and a half long. Not only can I see the cost of using this faster in my design, but I can also download the 3D model to use in my design by going into the product detail. Just make sure to switch the file type to step to make this work. Once I hit save, Fusion 360 will automatically insert this fastener into my assembly. That is going to save me tons of times of downloading the file, locating it on my hard drive, then inserting it into my assembly. Well, if you haven't used a McMaster car 3D model before, notice that they fully detailed their designs. This can be good for specific workflows, but if I'm going to insert many of these fasteners into my assembly, the thread will slow down my performance. So let's remove these threads. First, let's examine the timeline to see what happened when I inserted this component. Notice I get a feature for the new component followed by a base feature. I could delete the threads now, but I would get a feature in the timeline for that delete. If I have many of these delete features for every type of fastener I add into my assembly, it will slow down the compute for this entire timeline. Instead, let's edit the base feature. This is a unique mode inside Fusion 360. This is like being in a direct modeling mode, but at this time in the timeline. So anything I do in this mode is not captured in time. Let's select the two helical faces and the inside face of this thread and hit the delete key on my keyboard. Bam, the threads disappear and notice nothing is captured in the timeline. Well, we are done getting rid of the threads, so let's finish the base feature. Now that we are out of the base feature, we can continue to add joints and other features which will be captured in the timeline. This method will ensure that the extremely detailed components that come from McMaster Car do not slow down my assembly, especially as the complexity of my assembly increases as I add more and more components. Well, that's the quick tip for this week. Go use some McMaster car components in your next assembly.